America's newest senator, Scott Brown, loves to talk about his daughter's prowess on the basketball court. But this weekend, he skipped her game and flew cross country to catch one with Senator John McCain and to return a favor. When I was uh, considering running and I was down 30 points, the only person that actually met me was Senator McCain. I'm proud to endorse Scott Brown for the Senate. McCain's early support helped Brown defeat a better-known, better-funded Democrat in liberal-leaning Massachusetts. Now yeah, McCain is enlisting right the GOP's newest superstar okay, to help you, him Good with luck. his own election, a Thank Senate you, primary Thank challenge you. from the right. Everything that the McCain people did to try to intimidate me not to run mm -hmm. has just moved me in the other Makes direction. Makes you want to do yeah. it. J.D. Hayworth, conservative radio host and former U.S. representative, is hoping to corral the Tea Party crowd and upend the more moderate McCain. Hayworth's challenge has forced McCain to tack to the right recently. We don't want uh, uh, terrorists read their Miranda rights. And to dust off his outsider credentials with visits from Tea Party idols like Sarah Palin and Scott Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the great political heroes in American political history. With polls showing anti-Washington anger at an all-time high, McCain is one of many incumbents facing tough elections. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, Arkansas Senator Blanche Lincoln, and Pennsylvania's Arlen Specter are all enduring bruising campaign battles. You've got long-term senators who have locked down election after election and won by 10, 20 points every time, who are scared out of their minds. It's unfamiliar territory for McCain, who easily won re-election back in 2004 with 76 percent of the vote. The Arizona Tea Party says it's not endorsing either McCain or Hayworth because, from its perspective, both candidates' records leave a lot to be desired. Jeff? All right, Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill tonight. Nancy, thank you.